What's up, people? Today, I am getting into my Batman Begins 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray review, and I got that coming up for you guys next. So people, before I actually get into my review of the 4K version of Batman Begins, I do have to uh, send out an apology for you guys. I did get something wrong on my Dunkirk review as far as the video quality. And every time that I get something wrong, I promise it won't be often, but I will always tell you guys on a later video just so you know, hey, you know what? I, uh, I screwed up. So I originally said that Dunkirk was filmed on 35 millimeter. That is actually wrong, along with the IMAX cameras, because a large portion of that movie was filmed with an IMAX camera. It was actually on 65 millimeter that that movie was filmed, and uh, I apologize. And on top of that, that movie does not have a digital intermediate of a uh, of a. 2K, it was actually put through a 4K scan and that is what made up that uh, 4K digital intermediate that it actually has. I thank you to the person that commented on that video and told me what was up and I do apologize to you guys and um, yeah, it won't happen often but this is how I'm going to do it going forward. But besides all of that, let's get into Batman Begins, the 4K Ultra HD disc. And uh, just to let you guys know, I won't be going into the Blu-ray just because of the fact that it is a old as the Hills Blu-ray. And you guys don't want to hear me talk about that. You guys want to hear me talk about the new 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. And that is what I'm going to be talking about today. So how is it? It's, it's pretty good. It isn't the best, but it is much of what I, w I kind of expected to be honest with you. This was actually shot on 35 millimeter. I promise I'm, I'm right about that this time. And uh, it was put through the same 4K scan that Dunkirk was put through. So um, really what uh, makes the difference here and what makes this better than its Blu-ray counterpart is the HDR and the wider color gamut. This movie, feels like the color is more strong and it feels like it is more bold when uh, Bruce is in the Arctic and he is on that ice and he's being trained by Ducard you can definitely almost feel how cold it is to those characters just because of the white levels that are there and as far as the black levels you can see a lot more definition on Batman's uh, bat suit just because of the upgraded black levels that are there as well and uh, really people that is where this release shines the best you do get an upgrade in detail as well like I said the bat suit looks a lot more detailed and the environments look a lot more detailed as well especially in some of the city landscapes Unfortunately, one thing that I did notice here that uh, some people aren't really talking about is the fact that uh, these flesh tones are, are either really blown out in some scenes or really hot in other scenes. And uh, it's something that I noticed on the original print uh, from the, that uh, Blu-ray that came out way back when. And it's definitely, it's still here. You know, a lot of those skin tones, when Bruce is actually in the Arctic, his skin looks very cold. And I mean almost pale, pale, pale cold. And some of that loses definition just because of how blown out the background is behind him. And when you go into the depths of you know, uh, Gotham, you get a very hot skin tone from some of these characters and some of that resonates on their faces where it definitely uh, has a, a very much like warmer skin tone to them. That along with the fact 
that this doesn't feel like the biggest upgrade known to man. It just feels like a, a pretty consistent one. And for that, I do have to give this a 7 out of 10. This isn't that bad, but I definitely did, uh, I, I wanted a little more from this, but just a little. So next, we are going to be getting into the audio of Batman Begins, and I definitely, I have something to say about that. And I got it coming up to you next. So the audio of Batman Begins. I uh, will just say right off the top, people, that this movie, despite being remixed because of the fact that uh, originally it was an Adobe True HD mix and now it is in a DTS HD mix, um, they don't give us a Dolby Atmos mix here. And that is something that I really, really wanted and I feel like this really, really needs. But Christopher Nolan just has a way of putting his voodoo on me to the point where I, I I love his mixes, despite the fact that he doesn't give me exactly what I want from them. Because this audio mix is incredible, people. I mean, this is a hefty, hefty upgrade from the Dolby True HD mix. This feels so wide to me. Just the overall space of the audio, just the sound space, feels so opened up and wide and dynamic and just really, uh, it, it feels just so expansive. This is such a nuanced track and it has so many levels to it that I, I can't express enough how much I love, love, love this mix. It hits heavy with the score of this movie and even though it's not one of my favorite scores i don't like the score as much as other people do but at the same point in time you hear that hans zimmer score thumping at you and you know what it's impactful nonetheless you get the surrounds kicking in and they are heavy here and you got a hefty amount of bass and just one of the most dynamic dts hd tracks known to man I, I can't ding this at all, despite not giving me a Dolby Atmos track. I have to give this a 10 out of 10. God, it kills me, but I have to do it. But at the same point in time, I do have to give a come on, man, to Christopher Nolan, because come on, man, give me a Dolby Atmos track next time. Come on. So next, I do have to get into the special features of Batman Begins, and I got that coming up for you guys next. So the special features for Batman Begins. So right off the top, people, I would like to incorporate something in the special features where uh, I'm going to be doing this for all of these releases that I'm going to be reviewing from now on, and that is digital copies. I feel like that is a big talking point for this uh, particular box set that I'm talking about today. And so I will just say that all of these releases that come on this particular box set, if you actually buy the box set, you do not get the digital copies. But if you buy the individual releases of these 4K discs, you do get the digital copies. And unlike these uh, transfers that are on these discs, those digital copies actually come with Dolby Vision and that is something that I wish I had, but unfortunately, they don't actually come in the box set that I pre-ordered and had to wait two weeks for. So, come on, man! But getting into the special features that are here, they are all on the uh, Blu-ray disc. None of them are on the 4K disc, and uh, I feel like that's something that I just have to accept today, but you know what, I'm still gonna ding this for it anyway. Along with that, all of these featurettes that come here 
are all standard definition because that's the way that they were on the older Blu-ray that we got way back when. You get like an hour of featurettes here and they go into the making of the Batmobile. You have interviews with the cast and crew. You have the making of the Batsuit. You have the construction of what they wanted this particular iteration of Batman to, to be and why they wanted it to be that way and uh, you, you get a decent amount of special features but like I said they are all in standard definition and they all just are, are something that I actually liked back when this came out but a lot more has really came out since then and it doesn't look too hot to me now. For that I have to give this a 5 out of 10. There's a hefty amount of special features here, but it's all in standard definition. I know that Christopher Nolan doesn't like to uh, really have a lot of special features because he wants his movies to really speak for themselves, but you got to do a little bit more than this to do. So next I'm going to be getting into my last looks and my overall grade for Batman Begins in 4K. I got that coming up for you next. So Batman Begins is very much an ensemble movie with great, great acting all around. And at the time, it was my favorite Batman movie of all time. You, again, had great performances. You had some really cool action. And you just had an amazing, amazing Batman story. The best of the best of Batman stories that had come before it. And if you guys didn't see my video review for Batman Begins, I gave it a 9 out of 10, which would bring the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray disc to a 31 out of 40. That still isn't that bad, but it just suffers from a, an older transfer, despite the fact that this is an upgraded scan of that transfer. And... Um, the special features were kind of lacking. So next, I do have to get into The Dark Knight, and you know you want to watch me talk about The Dark Knight because it's a very popular movie. Subscribe so you know when that video comes out and you know you want to see it, man. Comment down below if you are excited about that movie review, and we'll have a discussion about it. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. You guys are great, and I will see all of you next time.